Hey guys, my name is Ross A. Sotrillo, and I'm a producer and mixer based out of Toronto, Canada. I'm in RHD Music right now, which is the studio that I own. And the studio is actually based around an AWS 924 by SSL. This is an analog console that allows me to control both the digital side and the analog side from the same console. And it's fed in the analog side through the Apollo X series units. Uh, so it's 32 ins and outs from that system. And that allows me to mix in analog on this desk using the Apollo's conversion. I've been using the Burl series of converters uh, by Burl Audio, the B2 Bomber ADC, to actually take the two mix out of this console and then print that back into the system in Pro Tools because it feels like it really complements my mixes and specifically the style that I'm working on. It feels like I'm hitting a tape machine when I actually record the output of the mixer. and. Uh, that's probably due to its transformer that it has on the front end and the fact that it has a variable input on it, um, it's, it makes it really flexible for workflow. Today I, I wanted to do a shootout between that Burl system and the new uh, Rupert Neve Designs MBC uh, converter, and this is the master bus converter. This unit is very much like the Burl in that it has a transformer on the, the conversion stage, but it also allows you to do a couple other things, take the transformer out of the conversion, and it actually gives you a little bit more flexibility in the actual uh, playback. So uh, I wanted to show you guys the difference between those two and as well what it would sound like to take this exact analog mix through the Apollo back into the system, which is also a fine sounding uh, conversion with no transformer in line. To do this, I'm gonna show a mix by an artist I'm working with called Spencer McKenzie. We've been working on this record for the last year and we're sort of in the final stages of the mix right now. So I thought it would be an appropriate mix to kind of show you guys how these different units would convert. Let's start by going through the Apollo. Okay, let's see what the Apollo sounds like, which again has no transformer on it, completely neutral and flat, and should be a very true representation of the actual output from the analog stage of this console. So let's hear that. Because I'm bad. Now let's have a look at the Neve MBC's conversion without the transformer engaged. So this is just a straight record without the transformer actually being engaged on the front end. Okay, let's hear what that sounds like. Because I'm Now let's take the MBC and add the transformer option to it. So we'll see what kind of a, a bump the transformer will actually add when we're converting this file. So let's go ahead and do that. Because I'm Now let's see how that compares directly to the Burl, which is an exact replica of that, putting a transformer in front of the series. So let's hear what the Burl sounds like now. Because I'm So after listening to all three of these converters do what they do, for me, the way the Burl sounds is the thing that I believe complements the mix the best. The, the Burl's openness and thickness in the low end really feels like it saturates the mix in a way that makes the mix feel warmer, it makes it feel like it's sticking out and punchier, and it adds some vibe to it. The NBC does something really cool too in the top end where it kind of heightens the top end, heightens the low end, 
but I don't feel like it's complementing the mids in the same way that the, that the Transformer version of the Burl does. The Transformer-less options between the, the Apollo and the MBC, they both feel correct as well, but I feel like uh, when you're actually going for that final, you know, push over the cliff sound, it would be really cool to have a little bit more power out of the, the mids. So for me, the Burl would be the one that I would pick, but just so we're aware, each one of those units' conversions is amazing. They all sound amazing. Um, I would be very happy to deliver this mix with any of them. I personally feel that the Burl one gives me that extra little, little push over the cliff when it comes to um, the final deliverables. So that would be my pick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.